kinds of stuff. And uh, one of these days, I'll get the raccoons that come into the yard. I'll get them on camera. Cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah try this sometime. If you know you have raccoons in the yard, put out an egg. Just one. They will do battle for it. <laughs> They'll chase each other. Oh, yeah, they will. They'll chase each other. I saw one, one the female picked it up. She was like, egg. She, she, she was playing with it. She was mouthing it. She was pushing it around. She was running around with it, you know, like this, hopping around with it. And uh, I decided that the pair out here were Heidi and Cartman. Uh, so when Cartman realized she had an egg, uh, he decided he would take it from her. So he chased her and the egg, and I could hear them just squabbling. If you've ever heard raccoons squabble, it sounds like a death match. They, they make so much noise. Uh, so I don't know who ended up with it at last, but they both waddled back after a while to see what else I had put out and, you know, had some leftover spaghetti. So I don't know who got the egg, but they, they had quite a disagreement over it. We also get a, a gray fox out here. We get skunks. Somebody somebody set off the skunk the other night, and it was Ew. very pungent. Oh, yeah, it was quite pungent. Uh, and the kitty that's out here, uh, he got just on the fringe of it. He, he was close to the blast zone, but he didn't, he didn't really get hit. You could tell, you know. He just smelled a little whiffy, so we let him stay outside for a day to air out. Oh, yeah. He's just lucky he didn't get it. Hi. Right in the face. Aww. Now the funny, like, you talking about kitties? Now the funny thing about skunks, uh, roadkill skunks, they smell like bologna to me. Where do you buy your bologna? <laughs> I'm not going to that store. I don't want it's, that it's, bologna. It's just the weirdest thing. I, I get my, my snozz is messed up. I uh. smell weird things, yeah. Yeah, that is an odd one, a baloney, huh? Yeah, we'll be driving along the highway with our windows open. My mom will look over and say, do you smell baloney? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you could always tell. I used to ride Greyhound a lot, and you could always tell, like, from, like, the back of the bus forward or wherever, wherever the smell came in first. You know, if we were near a skunk, they're like, ugh, ugh, yeah. ah, what's that? Ugh. People start freaking out. Yeah. Like, oh, come on, it's a skunk. <laughs> <laughs> the best commentary on order that I ever heard was on a Greyhound bus. So, some chick had, like, gone overboard with the perfume, and just, it was just, it stank. Whatever it was, it might have been okay in a small dose, but it was just like, ah! She just overpowered the entire bus. And there's some, some fellow who sounded like he might have been from Alabama back there, and he'd go, what we do? We run over a French whore. <laughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> she was not happy. <laughs> I bet not. We run over a French whore. Ooh. What do you mean French? <laughs> We're not French. <laughs> well, I guess I guess I'm I'm occupied now. <laughs> Now have cat butt. You now have cat butt. It looks like he's got pantaloons on. He's got such fluffy legs. There we go. Yeah, he's he's oh hello darling. Oh that's what he does. He travels. He wants oh, to. My, my rabbit does that when I hold her. She'll want to go on my shoulders, on my back, across mm -hmm. my chest. Yeah, this is a chest cat. It really is. You can see how huge his paws are. Gigantic. He's Mr. Thumbs. Oh, is he a pterodactyl cat? Pterodactyl. Pear. I I can't actually remember that. He That's does okay. he have thumbs? Um, um, polydactyl. Right. Uh, I, I had to do it. Yeah. Yes. He's got thumbs. Aww. He's got. He's got a total of twenty-seven toes. <laughs> Usually they have eighteen, so he's got like toes and a half. For what Aww. a cat should have. Big paw kitty. <laughs> So he is very, very docile. He, he doesn't mind at all. And he's just kind of making biscuits in the air with those giant paws. <laughs> um, my finger is safe. It's on his, it's on his center pad. Oh, now he's going <laughs> to... The itchies. The itchies have hit. Yes. He's like, I'm, like, I'm comfortable like this. I like it. Yeah. And he, he's a character. 
he's he's a a, a wonderful hunter. With all those giant toes, you can't really miss. Oh, what? Oh, oh, thank you. He's drooling on me. He's very happy. Oh. So last night, our the ice cream social, I guess, turned into the pet and plushie parade. <laughs> oh, this is kind of my life. <laughs> this is kind of my life. Like, cat, cat rear end. The cat so, is a hat. Um, huh? Yes, he is. He is a hat. Ooh, he's a he's a hat that is prickling my back. Is what he's doing. He's like, thank you, kitty. I know you're happy. Yeah. So this is uh oh, beep. No kitty. Beep the kitty nose. <laughs> that is cute. Yes, I saw him last night. I was I was showing my dad how many people we had on last night. He's like, that's a lot of people. I'm like, yep. He's like, how do you talk to all of them at once? I'm like, everybody just kind of kind of does their thing. So who is your friend? I forgot. The kitty cat. Uh, <clears throat> I think his name's gonna be Tux. Tux. Oh. <laughs> Hi. No, he is very cute. Yeah. Oh, I'm looking forward to to seeing all, doing all this in person next year. It'll be it'll be nice. Yeah. 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 Keep our fingers crossed. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's kind of weird to be. I'm up not too. To hmm? I'm sorry. You I'm not too disappointed by the virtual. You're not too disappointed. There, there's a lot of things. by the virtual cons. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of things that um. I mean, trying to say these three days are the con. That's a little silly, but uh, there's no reason why we can't do what we just did, like some once a month, honestly. Yeah, I was going to say we could do your know, online meet, you know, multiple times a year. I'd be quite happy with that. You know, and to keep doing it, you know, once once we're able to do in person again. Uh, keep that up because there's plenty of people that can't necessarily <laughs> get to the con yeah. in person. Ah, okay, there he goes. That's that's my little Plus, friend. Plus, it would be a lot easier for me to pull my partner into this than to actually get her to MFM. Oh, yeah, yeah. You said, what, Vancouver, Canada, right? Uh, not in Vancouver, but in that same province. Oh, okay, in that area. I was like, what's that bright light? That's the sun ding a ling. <laughs> it is. It just like came out. It's like, ah. Bright light, bright light. I'm a strange furry. I spend a lot of time outside. I spend a lot of time outside too. It's just not when the sun's out. Oh. You hear our birds. The Usually the midway point of my morning walk is just before sunrise. <laughs> That's nice. That's a nice time of day to be out. Yes, it is. <sighs> and there's this, uh, this local out. church that's got an absolutely awesome courtyard to sit in in the morning. <laughs> that's nice. My, my, my local church is over, back over there someplace. We actually, we live next door to it. Then also there's church. this... Uh, there's this defunct train station that's not been in service for ages, and there's a little park around it. Oh, interesting. It's also a nice place to sit in the morning. Yeah, we've got a few places like that around here. Um, we're, we're, we're blessed to have about an acre and a half of backyard to just chill out. 